car quiz. Which manufacturer offers more 4x4 models than any other? The answer, of course, is Nissan. Because they spot a niche and they fill it. So which niche is the Murano filling? Well, most of the time it's front-wheel drive, so it's not for the people who like axle articulation and camouflage netting. But nor is it for mums in baseball caps with spray-on tan. It may look like a movie set prop, but there's a lot of substance here. The engine's actually out of the 350Z Coupe, which is an awesome three and a half litre V6. Bits of the transmission come from the Skyline Super Saloon, and even the suspension's been tuned for the higher speeds of European roads. So what we have here might well be the first sports car SUV. After a quick toddle round, I can safely tell you that this isn't the first sports car SUV. There's no disguising its weight and its height, and stuff like the new Discovery and BMW's X5 still have it beaten for precision when you're going round corners. Now, I know I said it had the engine out of the 350Z, which it does, but it's been detuned 40 horsepower, so it's not quite the snarling, aggressive beast that I thought it might be. Lots of noise, not a lot of go. So if the Murano isn't for speed freaks, maybe it's for gadgeteers. The list of standard kit is mightily impressive. You get a continuously variable transmission or CVT gearbox that ensures you're always at optimum revs. You get Bose tunes, a cubby hole that accommodates a laptop computer, and bird's eye view sat nav complete with important landmarks. It has the world's easiest seats to flick down, should you ever unexpectedly find yourself at Ikea. And a colour reversing camera with width lines to help avoid embarrassing collisions. But here's the Murano's really big plus point. It's been on sale in America for two years now, which means all those niggling faults that newly designed cars normally come with have been ironed out. There have been more than 300 changes made for us Europeans, right down to more aerodynamic wipers. The Murano is going to cost you a smidge under £30,000, about the same price as a BMW X3, but it's far longer than an X5, and it's got far more toys. But that doesn't mean it's going to be a stack em high and sell em cheap job either, because next year they're only going to bring in about 1,000 units, which means it will be pretty exclusive. Because of that, I reckon this is a winner. <laughs>